Not good at all. Come on, punk. I don't know what's happening. All I know is death. Take it down. No one survives, Holst. No, not yet. This rate will break through our defenses. We need reinforcements. Come on. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. My reputation as the illustrious king of grappling would take a hit. Yeah, right. My magic is about to unleash Balthus. It's over for you. Nailed it. More power. You know what? I can't be stopped. Have another. Mm, I think it's about over, Balthus. Got him. All right, that works. I did not think I had underestimated you. This is terribly unfortunate. All units, attack! Follow me! I used the wrong move. It's fine. We can skip. Defeat Ferdinand. I don't have enough KOs, and I've taken a lot of damage in that last fight. It is a noble's duty to protect the people. We must recapture Deirdre. Die. I guess it's now or never. Two minutes, 300 KOs, not looking hot. Wait, you're asking me? Out you go. Nailed it. Go, 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 go. Oh, hi, Ferdinand. Bye, Ferdinand? Where is he going? Is he going to what's her face over there? He might be. We I don't think you're gonna get the S rank because we're playing on hard difficulty, so we're a little behind on levels. Which is unfortunate, but also we have Holst, which is Pog. Because if I just go kill Ferdinand and end the fight, then we won't get uh, enough KOs. Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. Now is our chance. They cannot stop us. Not a problem. I this is my last attempt to make it happen, though. Nah, there's no way with the amount of time left. There's just no shot. Yeah, let's oh, hey, this. open that at least. Places? All right, take it down. Die. How do these arrows work? I'll take over. Hilda? Yeah, let's do this. Get to Ferdinand? Clear out. Just trying to get as many KOs as I can. I'm not going to be able to kill Ferdinand fast enough, though. I must not fail here. This is for the future of the Empire. Ferdinand, please! Don't make me do this! I don't think I can do it in 59 seconds. I'm just trying to kill small units to get as many KOs as I can. We changing switching it up, huh? Hello. I don't have any special skills here or anything that I can use to speed this along. I can never back 
Come on. Oh, I didn't get that break. I really thought I would get that break before it could attack. Nope. There we go. No, I pressed X on the enemy there. Screw off, Ferdinand. Oh, I wish I had magic on Hilda right now. There might have actually been a chance. Yeah, not enough time to kill Ferdinand. Oh, well. We can come back and try and do this one in records later. How was I ever supposed to stand a chance against Ferdinand Von Eyre? Honestly. Thanks, Linhart, for helping me kill your old friend. Please back down. Oh, perfect dodge. Let's go. Would you... Ferdinand? Take that. Oh, now I have a special a little too late. I guess it's now or never. Ferdinand, please survive somehow. I don't even think we do. We even get the eighteen hundred KOs. Let my ambitions get yes, he's gonna live for now. We must withdraw and regroup. Fall back. We won. I want to hear those victory cheers, folks. They're probably planning a second assault after they regroup, but we'll see if that actually happens. Stage complete. Look, the Imperial Army is retreating. Steady, Hilda. Don't get too excited just yet. We've only repelled the first wave of their assault. The Empire has been funneling a great deal of troops into Leicester since taking control of the Great Bridge of Murden. I expect they'll have plenty of reinforcements at the ready, fresh and fully prepared to fight. Sharp as ever, Holst. I was thinking the same thing. We're not out of the woods just yet. But you still have your plan, right? I believe it is high time you explain exactly what scheme you hold up your sleeve. Just keep your eyes on the enemy and you'll know soon enough. Assuming the plan actually succeeds, that is. Um, what do you mean by that? Enough with the theatrics. Do you truly intend to evade our questions, even now? Well, if that's what our leader says, we'll just have to monitor the Imperial Army and await good news. If you are satisfied with that, Lord Holst, then it will have to suffice. I don't get it. Why are you still being so tight-lipped about this plan? Just keeping my promise to a certain individual who also happens to be the linchpin of this entire scheme. And Lawrence, apologies in advance. Why are you apologizing only to me? That feels somewhat disquieting. Oh, very well. I shall wait to see just what it is you have been scheming. But to be clear, if this plan of yours fails, the Alliance is finished. We will no longer be able to resist the Empire. Yes, I'm well aware. Failure isn't an option. Yeah, I was short 19 kills in 18 seconds. Just a little too slow. I almost took too much damage. Honestly, I kind of feel like... If Hilda had just been the other class, we would have been fine. Because she would have moved faster. And if Hilda could have... Like, we probably lost, like, about a minute worth of time just from how slow Hilda's class is. Since she was having to do so much of the killing. So I think we once we get her back to her normal class, we can redo this chapter and very easily knock it out of the park also we'll just be higher level by then as well because we are in hard difficulty I still have a long way to go not not a very good level up for hilda here i wish she would have at least gotten resistance or strength instead of any of one of the others Once why are my units so allergic to getting plus one to strength like come on if he got plus one to strength there, I would have been furious. So many levels. None of you are getting strength up. What's happening? Oh, well. MVP Hilda. 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 Dude, we get to use host for like the rest of this playthrough. That's so pog. Apocalyptic flame is getting there. It's almost level two. 
Fallen Star still has a long way to go. Hey, I am capable. An Iron Shield, and a lot of other stuff. Yo, we got Balthus. We got another punchy boy. Let's go. And we got Holst, who is apparently a Swordmaster. I can't believe he isn't a punchy boy. I really thought he would be a puncher. Move the injured soldiers to the rear. All those who can fight, reform your ranks. As soon as we are prepared, we will launch another attack on Daredrew. Another one? Why don't we just, um, wait for Count Berkeley's? Our enemy is exhausted, while we have plenty of soldiers who are unharmed and able to fight. This is the most opportune time to strike. Lord Ferdinand. Ah, General Ladislava. We've been waiting for you. Has Count Burglies arrived? No, he has yet to depart the Empire. There has been some suspicious activity in Southern Leicester that has made the Minister wary to proceed. Suspicious activity, you say? Do we have any idea what the Alliance is plotting? Not to my knowledge, sir. As much as it pains me to say it, perhaps we should fall back until we know more. Hmm. And yet here we stand, on the precipice of victory. General Ladislava, our scouts have returned. And what do they report? Gloucester soldiers have launched a surprise attack on the Great Bridge of Murden. We've lost control of the bridge. We anticipate that House Gloucester and Ordelia's forces will soon seize the lands that belong to House Phlegathon. <laughs> so, Count Gloucester was deceiving us all along. What? We've been tricked? Oh no, 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 no! Seems we have blundered right into an alliance trap. We have to retreat. Get out of here. Find some place safe to hide. Calm yourself, Bernadetta. A leader must project confidence for the good of their soldiers. We shall begin an orderly march to the Great Bridge of Murden at once. Though the enemy may give chase, stopping is not an option. We must maintain our course for the Empire and let nothing deter us. Understood. I am with you, wherever you may take us. I apologize for leading you both into this debacle. For now, all we can do is pray that any part of our host makes it back to the Empire safely. Forgive me, Edelgard. I may not be able to keep my promise to you after all. I feel so bad! I wish I was playing Black Eagles! But I want the Black the Eagles to win! The army's on the run. Looks like my plan went off without a hitch. According to a messenger from my father, Gloucester forces have launched a surprise attack on the Great Bridge of Murden. What did you say? The Imperial forces were caught completely off guard and have been driven back. The bridge is once again under Alliance control. He also said that Count Ordelia is working with Count Gloucester to fortify Southern Leicester. Using a false surrender to draw the enemy into a disadvantageous position. I take it that was your plan, my lord? Yeah, basically. Except that Count Gloucester wouldn't have acted if we hadn't won the battle for Daredrew. That was the promise we made. And thanks to all of you, I held up my end of the bargain. So, uh... What's all that mean now? They're saying that House Gloucester and House Ordelia never really betrayed the Alliance. Well, they would have if we lost in Daredrew, to be clear. I hope you can all forgive me. I knew the whole time, but my father had sworn me to secrecy. You knew about this, Lysithia? But my father never breathed a word of it to me. Yeah, it's because you're a pitiful failure. Claude, why was I not informed? Again, I'm sorry about that. Your father made me swear not to say anything until it was over and done with. But why? Is this another sign that he has yet to consider me a worthy successor? That's not it, Lawrence. But it's also not my place to speak for your father. You should ask him yourself the next time you see him. <laughs> I'm sure this all came as a shock to you, Lawrence, but there's no time to sulk. We need to move, and quick. If we don't surround and quash the Imperial Army right away, this little plan will backfire, and Count Gloucester will be the one left vulnerable. He's right. If Count Burglies were to enter the fray now, our allies at the Great Bridge would be caught in a pincer attack. 
Who's this Count Burgley's person? He's a man's man. He's unstoppable. The Empire's Minister of Military Affairs. His house holds the territory on the opposite end of the Great Bridge. He is the manliest of all men. I think Holst is the only one that holds a candle to him, to be honest. I've yet to face him on the battlefield myself, but he's regarded as the greatest warrior in the Empire. I see where this is going. We need to move. I hate to ask this of you when you're still exhausted from the last battle, but I'm going to need one more push from each of you. Save up. Golden Wildfire. The leader's stratagem. The Alliance Army pushes back the Empire at Deirdre, where they receive word that Count Gloucester has rejoined the Alliance. It seems his disloyalty was all part of a deceitful plan. With their position lost, the Imperial Army begins to retreat. Claude and his allies press forward, planning to surround them as they flee to Adrestia. The Imperial forces within the Alliance are currently dispersed between the western part of Regan territory and the northern part of Gloucester lands. They're making a desperate attempt to march south but Count Gloucester's persistent attacks have slowed their progress. I would appreciate it if you could be more precise with your language. In fact, my father's tactics have halted the Imperial Army's southward advance. I'm pretty sure that's what I just said. Anyway, here's where we come in. We'll surround the enemy, cutting off their retreat and cornering them in Western Regan territory. Then, we give them a good thrashing. That's it? Sounds kind of simple if you ask me. Hey, what more could you want? All the best plans are easy to understand. Trust me, it's a sure win. Yeah, even I know what's going on now. We just have to herd the Imperial Army into Western Regan territory and stop them from moving any further south, right? Couldn't have said it better myself. Just remember that the enemy knows this is their last stand. We have to proceed with caution. I don't want to kill Ferdinand or Bernadetta. I don't want to do it. You can't make me do it. I want to finish them off before Count Burgley's has a chance to muster a sizable army and mount an attack. Um, Ferdinand and Bernadetta are leading the Imperial Army, right? I'm guessing you'd rather not kill them? Believe me, I don't want that either. We may have been in different classes, but they're still our old friends from the Academy. Once our forces are in place, I plan to offer them terms of surrender. Probably gonna let us recruit Bernadetta, but kill Ferdinand because I don't think Ferdinand would ever surrender. He might. We'll see. But for now, we need to focus on driving their army into a corner. You got it. I swear on these biceps, I won't let them get away. Shut up. I don't know. I'm not convinced it's going to be that easy. But I guess that's besides the point. We've got to get out there. You said it. Let's move out. All right. I can't believe that Count Gloucester betrayed us. The Great Bridge has fallen back into enemy hands. I'm supposed to end stream like four minutes ago. The cutscenes keep happening. Now that our troops are trapped on Alliance lands, House Regan and House Gloucester have them surrounded on both sides. It's doubtless one of Claude's clever little stratagems, and it stings. I don't understand. Everyone is aware of the troubled history between Regan and Gloucester. Why would they decide to bury the hatchet now? Unless... This supposed feud is little more than a web Claude has spun for this exact moment. Perhaps it is, but perhaps not. For all we know, he wants us to overthink the situation and make a greater mistake. As it stands, Ferdinand's forces are trapped behind enemy lines. The Minister of Military Affairs is moving to recapture the Great Bridge of Murden with all haste. However, I fear he lacks a sufficiently sizable force to do so swiftly enough to reach our isolated comrades before they are crushed. We cannot stand idly by while our allies are in danger. What are our options, Hubert? I have already taken the liberty of engaging several promising mercenary companies. Oh, ho, 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 Gerald's mercenaries! I directed them to covertly enter Alliance territory and provide reinforcements to Ferdinand. 
Why was I not informed of any of this? <laughs> From the very beginning, I had my doubts about Ferdinand and his ability to lead our troops to victory. I employed these mercenaries using my own personal funds, which obviated any need to report it. I respect that. And you believe they'll make it to him in time? I do. It turns out that they are quite familiar with the terrain. I am confident that they will prove well worth the cost of their contracts. It's funny, Hubert, to think that your complete lack of faith in Ferdinand might be the very thing that saves his life. The world truly is a mysterious place. Robbie Damon is such a good voice actor. Love that guy. Ooh, we got a lot to do next stream, chat. Five territories to conquer before the fight. Wow, we can get, like, right to it. <laughs> you can skip, like, four out of five of those. What the heck? Let me save. Now stop talking to me. Let's talk. Sonia, have you heard the news? Uh, I will talk to Holst next time. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm excited to see people have supports with Holst. That's going to be fun. But uh, yeah, let's save the game. That is going to be all for today because I'm already over on today's time. For those of you watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to catch streams live, link to my Twitch channel in the description. I'd love to see you there. Or keep watching on YouTube. I appreciate the support either way. And until next time, farewell. <laughs>